，拳坛精彩赛事热门资讯尽在拳击对对碰。中国大级别没有高手，那是你不知道他。IBF 轻重量级法定挑战者冷血孟凡龙。孟凡龙于14岁进入赤峰体育中学，并开始学习拳击。2007年入选了中国国家队。此后，他曾多次成为全国搏击锦标赛81公斤级的冠军，并夺得过2010年亚运会81公斤级季军、2011年亚洲拳击锦标赛81公斤级亚军、2011年世界拳击锦标赛81公斤级第五名、2013年第十二届全运会81公斤级冠军等。为了拿到更好的机会，孟凡龙只身来到美国打拼。在异国他乡啊，孟凡龙靠着自己打出了一片天地。现在33岁的孟凡龙职业战绩16战全胜，而且有10次 KO 对手的经验。这样的人继续走下去啊，中国大级别也能崛起。这是三年前的一场比赛，在2018年11月24日，那时候的孟凡龙还是30岁，他的对手啊是英国拳手万事通、弗兰克·比辽尼。本场比赛啊，双方争夺 IBF Inter 国际拳击联合会轻重量级洲际拳王头衔。这次比赛里边啊，弗兰克的年纪是29岁，他一共打了29场比赛，只输了3场，获胜26场比赛，而且啊，他还有16次 KO 的经验。KO 别人的次数啊，就是孟凡龙总共打过的比赛了。一开始啊，这比赛从数据上来看呢，差距也太大了。Measure that distance, just trying to obscure Bulioni's view every now and again too, and then every now and again he throws one in a proper jab like he did there. Bulioni trying to answer back with a a right to the stomach, closing a few seconds of the second round. 咱们看到第三回合开始了，孟凡龙其实是被压制的挺狠的呀，被弗兰克给堵着揍了。He wants it, so it's up to Bulioni. To force that pace, he's the one who's going to have to take chances. Maybe take one to give one. Maybe he has to take two to get land one to get closer, force the pace, and hopefully, you know, good right hand there from Bulgaria. This is better. He's got to apply the pressure. He has to take risks. He has to take chances. He has to commit when he's coming. This is better work for him. Well, he's reacted to what his trainer said there, and he's trying to put some punches together. Most of those were taken on the arms and gloves by Meng, but Bulgaria has found the target a couple of times in this round. He's had to. Take a shot himself to make that happen, as you've been saying, Matt. But what we know about him is that he's got a lot of heart, Bulioni. He can take a shot. I know he got stopped by Callum Johnson, but against Fedor Chudinov and Sergei Komitsky, for example, two defeats. But we know that he's brave and he has a gas tank. So this really is his method to win this fight. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, he's been a slow starter and he gets better as the fight goes on. He, he's been the, the this many, many times. So he needs to make it that type of fight. Like Don Charles told him, let's make this a fight now. Let's make it grueling. Let's make the pace hot in there. Let's test. Let's test how much this guy. 比赛呢也来到了后半段。孟凡龙是多次啊被弗兰克给打进了墙角。这种情况啊，再不寻找破解的时机啊，孟凡龙接下来的比赛绝对是凶多吉少。比赛啊，不仅仅看技术，也看临场状态和信心。对方打得这么流畅，那肯定是更加强劲了。孟凡龙那不就更难了吗？话说啊，弗兰克·比辽尼呢，还真是一员猛将啊，看着打法就不要更犀利了。Yeah, I mean this is where Bulioni wants. From what we've seen so far, Man looks like an accurate puncher, a neat puncher, not a particularly strong puncher. Yeah, which is good because it means Bulioni can probably afford to take more chances, take a few risks, be more difficult. If Zeng was a harder hitter, he'd have to be more, you know, have to be more skeptical, more careful of his defenses. 好的，咱们看到第四回合。经过中场休息的孟凡龙啊，能不能扭转局面，夺回这一回合的胜利呢？孟凡龙的进攻相较于上一个回合，很明显是强劲了很多啊。弗兰克少见的是一直开始躲闪了，显然是孟凡龙的重拳吓到了他。With some hard shots here, the L, and I like the way Meng has, you know, Bulioni won the last round for me. He changed tactics. He was more aggressive. He threw a lot more, and then Meng has come out at the start of this round, took the center of the ring, and started pushing Bulioni. Bulioni, for me, in this fight, has to be coming forward in order to be effective. Good left hand there from Meng. 
Well timed left hand. As soon as he threw the right hand there, Bullioni Meng just came back with the left. There is a little bit of swelling on the left cheekbone there of Meng, so Bullioni has been landing. Jab there from Bullioni, but I think these shots from Meng have taken a bit out of Bullioni in this round because he's not quite as light on his feet. No, he definitely felt the power. Meng Fanlong, this round, hitting is very good. One hit, 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 one hit. 孟凡龙这是换了硬刚的战术了吗？还是经过三个回合摸清了对手的套路呢？回合越快结束打得越狠呐、啊！这一回合可以肯定的说啊，是孟凡龙拿下了。第五回合继续加油啊！ Shake of the head there from Bullioni. The left hand just slipped over Bullioni's right shoulder, but this has been a a good round for the IBF Intercontinental Champ. 现在是第五回合的比赛。弗兰克通过教练的指点啊，一开始啊就猛冲和孟凡龙面对面硬刚。好几拳啊，还直接的打破了孟凡龙的防御，砸在了他的脸上，这才是真正的铁拳对轰啊！弗兰克打得漂亮啊，就是这样的铁拳才配得上那么多 KO。Yeah, I mean you can see him trying to line him up for that straight left hand down the middle every time. He just measures him, just keeps that right hand out there, and then he's looking for the straight left down the middle. That's better for Bullione. This is much better for the ref. This is what he's got to do. He's got to throw forces to the win. Don't get reckless. He's got to force the pace. There's no perfect way to do it. You're gonna get hit. You're gonna get caught. Take one to give one. That's the kind of fight it's gonna be. Let his hands go there, Bullione. He had to guard up though, Meng. Nothing really got through totally clean, but they were strong-looking shots, and they made him give ground. Yeah, maybe the accuracy of punches land is not quite there. The bad cut coming from Bullione. I think it's over the. 什么情况？裁判为什么暂停比赛？弗兰克的脸上被孟凡龙打破了一道口子，孟凡龙在高压之下还能还以重击，实在是厉害呀！比赛继续进行，弗兰克非常让人尊重啊！如此有体育精神的运动员啊，我佩服他。How to say that? He never says anything else. Bullioni can't see it clearly. Well, he might not be saying that. We have got past the completion of the fourth round, so if this were to be stopped now, we would go cut. to the scorecards. Okay. Referee Timo Habikhorst of Germany is giving him every chance here because I tell you what, there's plenty of doctors, there's plenty of referees who would have stopped this. Yeah, I mean, Bullioni doesn't want to get reckless, but he does have to force this pace now. He can't stand at range at that at long distance. Meng's just picking him off. He's measuring him with the right hand. And he's driving those straight lefts down the middle, as we've seen there. He's got to keep this pace on him now. He's got to hit close. Close is safe. If he's on the chest and he's working, he's using his physical strength. He can rough him up. When he's standing at range, the technical amateur skills of Deng. That's where we see him landing those left hands. Looking for that left hand off the back foot again. There, not sure if that was caused by a punch or a head clash. There was plenty of punches being thrown, but they fell in a couple of times as well. But the blood continues to come from it. He needs to get through this round, get back to the. 不败的孟凡龙啊，不是好惹的呀，几乎是无视了弗兰克的防御，拳拳到肉，没有一丝丝犹豫啊。弗兰克他是又一次的打出了血，裁判再一次暂停比赛。除了之前鼻子上的那一道，又多了眉骨的一道口子。伤势太重了呀！裁判直接终止比赛。孟凡龙他成功的获得了这场比赛的胜利。But have another look at from the look of Bullioni's face here. I think he is beginning to fear the worst. It's a bad cut. It's a really bad cut, and it's got worse. I think that's a conversation between the two of them that they're having there. Yeah, that's a nasty cut, Andy. Very deep. Wide across under the eyebrow, or across the eyelid. Yeah, well, the referee's going to stop this. The referee stops the fight, and really, that was all he could do. It sent him back out one more time, and I would say they were overly generous to do that, but they gave him every chance by doing that. And then, when the doctor looked at it again, the doctor and the referee agreed that it had got worse, and it's horrendous that cut. To be perfectly honest, there's no way you can let somebody continue with that. As I say, we have completed four rounds. He's, he did get a. I think the third round, I thought he won. He turned things around a little bit, but then Zeng came back out, adjusted, took the centre of the ring, and started teeing up again. And the cut was a really bad cut, and I don't think the ref, or the doctor, had any choice but to stop the fight. Well, he'll be absolutely devastated. Frank Bullion needs to have to bow out of this at this stage. It was at that point looking like Meng's fight. 
Well, let's get over to our MC, David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Timo Habergorst calls a halt in this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 1 minute 58 seconds of round number 5. Your winner by TKO. And still, the IBA... 喜欢孟凡龙的就给他点个赞吧。拳坛精彩赛事热门资讯尽在拳击对对碰。关注我，尽享搏击。下个视频再见。